First of all, I would like to indicate that if you are watching on this video right now, that means that I have a significant problem with my online connection, so that means I cannot do my presentation online, so the organizer computer is using my previous for the video. As you see that my title is conventional and innovative processing techniques for a better process design. Before I start, I would like to thank the organizer committee, Yang Yang Philip, and also to our conceptual leader uh, Alberto for giving me this chance uh, uh, to, to present my, my studies on this key uh, session. Uh, before I start, I would like to say that uh, on the right, hand, right corner up there, uh, you will see the CFP, that is the name of our group at the Department of Food Engineering and Food University, it's called Computational Food Processing, CFP, or in Turkish we say CFP. Uh, now I will first give you an outline about my, uh, my, my presentation. We will talk about the conventional and innovative thermal processing approaches, and we will also define the significance of the mathematical modeling for desired purposes, and we will demonstrate that when we use the modeling for desired purposes, for a better design, for example, we can, or this approach can enable us to use our process uh, from lab or data scale to industrial scale, and I will introduce you some examples from different food processing cases compared with the like comparison, comparing innovative approaches with conventional approaches. Conventional thermal processing, when we talk about this, if we talk, the first two things come to mind is scanning and aseptic processing. If we start with scanning, uh, it's uh, just a short history. Uh, can currently occupies a significant portion of the food processing or thermal food processing in the industry right now. We started now with the idea of Napoleon Bonaparte when he introduced the carbon plant for invention to preserve the food products and in 1809 Nicholas Appert received this prize for preserving the food products uh, by boiling them in a jars and Closing them, closing jars, and preserving. that was the preservation idea, and it was most right for pasteurization at that time. So, Peter in 1810 got the first patent to use the tin cans, and in 1818, the introduction of the tin plated cans uh, in the USA was the start of the canning process. Until, until 1980, there was not much of a significant change in the canning process, except that the different retorts were introduced by like horizontal rotation and overall rotation retorts uh, for the use of liquid or particulate foods. In the last two decades, the shaping or shaper retorts were introduced with a significant advantage. In the 1980s, it was a promising feature with the use of and then 2010 was the 200 anniversary. So basically, right now, uh, when we talk about canning, of course, I should not forget about the talking about the pouches, but still, in canning or cans or pouches, the, the major issue is external process times, processing time, with a safe product, and certain quality. And quality is probably questionable compared to the processes with the, for aseptic processing or innovative approaches. Uh, I should also mention that in 2012 we have introduced the use of toroidal cans in 2012 from my research group, and this was uh, uh, mainly focusing on the reducing, reducing the process time. And later on, we demonstrated that in our pilot plant or industrial scale experiments, by using toroidal cans, we can reduce the process time, sterilization time, for 40 percent for two kilogram tuna cans production needed. Of course, this will be much more significant for the case of conversion in the like liquids. So, can you, you know, as an example, when we talk about the conventional process, first of all, as I said, this constitutes a significant amount of food processing right now, but then the process control is right now a significant issue because, and to reduce the external process time. But to do that, we need to know the physical properties. And of course, we have to also question the fate of the 
process industry for process innovation. As in these pictures, you can see that one is a can tuna and the other is the green beans in a jar. You can assume that green beans in a jar is being used by formation and the process optimization or process modeling studies are based on formation. For the case of can tuna, the process optimization studies are based on uh, conduction. And you can see that that can tuna is basically sitting in a significant amount of oil or oil and water and you can also question the physical properties here for the process modeling, but there is also a significant formation that happen inside that scale. So I'm introducing this for uh, better process control or better process design, uh, how, what kind of questions we have to answer for the industry. So this is another an example. Right now, I would like, I would like to share with you. This is a this study that we carried out. So this is a horizontal rotation case uh, cans, and in these cans, 500 grams or number one cans, there was a non-newton millimeter inside, and you can see that when we increase the rotation rate or the rotation time, the process time was getting increased. That means uh, by increasing the rotation, we are, we are converting the formation in transfer to conduction in transfer, so that was a significant issue for the non-newtonium uh, liquids in the cans. So all these questions should be answered for uh, for a better process design and for this we need the mathematical modeling. And this is the picture. You can see that on the left hand side is a zero RPM rotation for non-Newton liquid, and the right hand side is a significant high rotation rate. And you can see that by conduction uh, kernels, uh, temperature kernels are being formed. As I said in the last two of the case, uh, shaking the torch were introduced, and we have uh, carried out uh, also a study with the, on these shaking the torch in the past with our uh, collaboration with Nokima from Norway. And here, uh, what we did was uh, this uh, shaking the torch are based on the reciprocal, reciprocal rotation of the cans in the basket inside the liquor. So this gives a certain or significant agitation inside the product. But the first thing that comes into mind is the higher the agitation rate, the better the temperature increase or temperature evolution. But it is not happening like that. For example, for a Newtonian liquid, low viscosity case like water kind of liquid or brine, if you go over beyond 80 RPM, there is no increase temperature uniformity or the this process time. So all these questions must be answered with the process design principles. Now these are the typical some examples from the canning. Now if you go into acetic processing, first of all acetic processing is an alternative thermal processing to canning and it is basically a thermal processing and packaging, output or packaging technique. The idea is keeping a pumpable product under controlled flow conditions to high temperatures and holding and cooling Followed by the filling into this product a sterilized package. So that means the product should be or must be liquid or including particles or not. And when, especially, we are talking about the particulate inclusion in the liquid, we are talking about a significant distance time distribution problem for a uniform process. So this is the time in that the issue in the acceptance processing that should be answered. And conventional acceptance processes are used in the heat exchangers mostly. An innovative approach right now in the last several years again being introduced, use of continuous flow microwave systems, and they were introduced in the shorter process time with temperature uniformity. Now, the, in the, my next slides, we will also question the temperature uniformity in the microwave system usage. So, this continuous flow microwave system uh, use also has the intention by attention by industry. So right now there are different emerging continuous systems manufactured by different in groups or different industries. So by combining the microwave and the acetyl processing or the conventional part, now we can talk about the innovative approaches of microwave and other frequencies. Microwave and other frequency processes are known to enable volumetric generation inside the product with a much better temperature uniformity. That's how it is called or defined in the literature. 
So in addition to the conventional cases, we are dealing with thermal and physical properties of products for the microwave and other processes for mathematical modeling functions dealing with electric properties, which are electric constant and electric loss factor. While they are both very important to evolve the heat transfer in such product, they are also affected in the penetration gap where you will have your, the volumetric generation or not. So this is and again LF and microwave rapid processes with volumetric heating and this is when we are talking about this rapid heating because of heat transfer in the process, especially in the conventional approaches like canning and other processing is slow. Slow because of the low thermal conductivity so, and thermal diffusivity of the food products. In this picture, you can see that on this uh, chart, you can see the effect of heat transfer corruption to the physical physical property, power in the heat transfer process, conventional heat transfer processes, in addition to the thermal, thermal, thermal physical properties of the product. <coughs> we can see that from H 10 watt per liter square Kelvin to 100, there is a significant temperature increase. You can assume that from H heat transfer question from 10 to 100 or 1000, we are talking about the air heating medium to water or liquid heating medium. So there is a significant difference again in the temperature evolution of the product from 10 to 1000. But if you can see that if we hypothetically increase heat transfer correction from 1000 to 100,000, there is almost no significant change. So that is our limitation in the conventional processes. We are limited by heat transfer correction, so that means we cannot go beyond the certain temperature. And that is the reason we are introducing the rapid reference or microwave, microwave processes <coughs> for a rapid process. So, so the microwave, if you just give a short definition or some uh, features of that, the microwave is in the electromagnetic region for 300 meters to 300 gigahertz, and 915 and 250 meters are mostly used by industrial or and home appliances. But in anyway, this is a general uh, statement, 250 meters microphones or wafers are also typically used in the industrial processes. First of all, depending on the, the, the product, and also they are cheaper than the different cases. So I have this less uh, occupying the less than 200 meters, and 1356 and 2712 meters are the general <coughs> preferences we are applying in the food industry, but 2712 meters is the main case with a like 11 meter of wavelength. Sorry about this. So, if you just shortly uh, talk about the micro and RF, the principle, and uh, even fermentation and deforestation are the main mechanisms in both cases to, in, to lead into the temperature increase in the product. So, in the microwave case, the product is in a cavity where the electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetism uh, is reduced there. Uh, is having its resonance activity, so during this resonance, the product is catching this uh, the electromagnetic energy and converting it to heat energy and leading to the temperature increase. And these are happening with the anthropization and deforestation depending upon the ionic content and moisture content of the product itself. In the area, on the other hand, the product is being placed with a two capacitor place. One of them is the potential electrode where we are applying the electric voltage there, the other one is the ground one, and between them the product itself is behaving like the electric material and the high frequency alternative electric field is applied. And transfer of electromagnetic energy is being directly into the product where we are inducing the polymeric heating due to physical interaction between the molecules. That's the main idea between these two. So if you make a short comparison between them, RF has longer penetration depth with lower frequency, while microwave has a shorter penetration depth because of their uh, wavelength and higher frequency. And because of this lower and higher frequency, first of all, the power absorbed by the product is changing, and there 
Wir äh, sollten für uns kurz auf das Aufbau auf Zugbank vor, dass die, die, die Gegner in die Hitz, Commercial in der Hitz Energie, und dann kann ich schon. Und der Bund hat die Erhöhung von der Energie, based on the presentation der Welt, aus der Ukraine, und der hat die Potential, compared to the industrial conventional system. So, as in the case of the conventional cases, both battery and iron, the safety is the major issue. Temperature distribution must be as uniform as possible, and we have that compared to the conventional cases, but I'll demonstrate that, but this is not as perfect as the literature is citing through the several decades. So, fuel efficiency, size, and cost are the major cases for an industrial scale processes for both conventional and also the microwave area equipment. Now, this is an example from one of our computational studies collaborated with the Young know, One uh, group here. So, uh, as you can see, that we have a certain product with certain chemical kind of properties and electric properties. When we apply the microwave energy into this one at a very low power, you can see the temperature distribution over the surface. That's on the left hand side. You can see that the temperature change over the surface of the square from 20 to 120, and there I am kind of spoiling my idea of volumetric generation. We have a certain significant temperature distribution in that world. And on the right hand side, you can see the volume of average temperature compared to the surface of average temperature, and you can still see that there is a significant change in the temperature. So there, we have a certain problem with the temperature uniformity in the microwave processing. This is a different, this is the uh, pictures from the different cross sections of this product. You can see that the high temperatures are specifically happening around the edges because of the limited penetration depth of the microwave into this product, and this is because of the related properties of the product. So while we are both designing the process, developing the microwave, first of all, we have to know what's happening in our microwave cavity, we have to know what kind of uh, power um, oscillation we are having inside the system, and in addition, we have to know the electric properties of our product. Otherwise, as you can see that, we will have more like a conduction, conventional conduction, rather than a volumetric microwave. So this is another example. Uh, for the Aref, even though Aref has a much higher penetration depth or, or and a much higher uh, wavelength, and you can see that there are significant temperature or uh, high energy absorption over the edges of the product. These pictures are from my uh, very close friend, Dr. Francesco Mara from the University of Salerno, Italy. As I can see, he gave me this uh, in this picture. As you can see, that in Aref again, like in the case of the microwave, we have a certain problem of faster heating that falls into the control of the process, and we know that now the product surface may still heat faster. And all these are the design and design and optimization problems for the process innovation. So why is this happening in the RF? And similar to the microwave energy, as you can see on the top, uh, first picture right hand side, how electromagnetic field energy is being getting into the product. As you can see, the edges of the point are significantly affected. This is like more like a magnet effect on the edges. So that is the reason we have a high, temp high temperature increase in that region. So the, the pictures on the bottom show that the product now is moving inside the electricity, but we are still having this magnet effect specifically around the edges and this is also happening even though the product is coming out of the electromagnetic field of the cavity of the cavity. So we are still trying to catch the electromagnetic field. We call this again magnetic effect, and there we have certain temperature increases. And all these are major process design problems. And again, as you can see that the, the famous saying of volumetric heating is not really the case for the process. So, if we just summarize this, by covering that of the frequency compared to conventional processing or conventional thermal processing, they really, if they, whether they are ready to process time, this is absolutely true. They are definitely 
improve the process efficiency, but uh, increasing the heating uniformity of the food product within the process is not always true. So if you just uh, make uh, some general cases for the conventional versus innovative uh, processes, as I just demonstrated to you, now uh, Aleph and microwave are the major possible industrial applications for the compared to the conventional processes, but they are very responsible for certain significant uh, physical properties effects in the penetration depth of the electromagnetic energy. Now I would like to give you some uh, examples. Like for example, foreign is a very significant problem right now in the industry because of conventional foreign takes too long time, while innovative foreign gives a better process control and uh, reduces the food safety issues. So that's the reason I specifically chose this case. And uh, microwave frequency and microwaves are microwave energy are typical user job again for the foreign. So. Uh, now I would like to give you the third issue there because of the radio frequency and, um, and the microwave use. The, the use of continuous system are the major cases, but the, the control of the process in the continuous systems are like uh, very significant and is not very easy because there they have the product movement. It's possible that electrode in the radio frequency case might be moving. And the simultaneous moment of product and input are also possible cases, and all these are introduced, well introduced by us to improve the temperature uniformity. And answers to these questions will enable the scale up by saving time and money for designing and prototyping for the industry. So, if you just have a look at the conventional tubing case, this is a big block. Of a product, you can see the significant temperature difference between the center blue one and the gray colored ones, and that is the towing we don't want. And unfortunately, in the conventional towing, that is what we have right now. So, when we introduce the conventional versus uh, innovative towing, which is to the conventional towing, for example, radio frequency, by the way, sorry about the Turkish uh, definitions there. But I can say that the blue line is a natural formation, while the red line shows showing us the rapid frequency case temperature increase of that big tuna chunk. You can see that in the other plate there. So the temperature, the towing time in the x axis is being reduced from like 15 hours to less than one hour just by using the radio frequency energy. This is the main advantage. But the main disadvantage there, again, in a similar way to the conventional case, the temperature non uniformity. Now, uh, with our computational studies uh, previously, we have demonstrated that just the corner effect, or to, to, to simplify the corner effect, we made that some round cones of the product by hypothetically. So you can see that up there, in up two pictures, that is the temperature. Mm -hmm. Compressor between the, uh, the round corner and sharp corner product from the top surface. You can uh, and please just also check the temperature scale for the sharp corner case. The temperature is from minus two to minus eleven, while the, the round corner the temperature is from not minus nine to minus eleven eleven point five. So that shows that that's at the end, same process time with the very similar pro, uh, volume average temperature of these two products, but you can see that just with the round corner, we are having much better temperature uniformity in the product. The below pictures are also showing this temperature uniformity in the other surfaces. So as I said that before, that uh, industrial, in the industrial scale systems, the product might not be moving, and also there might be a possibility to move the the electrode itself. Here in our simulation, the electrode is move, making a move first getting closer to the product and getting closer to the product. And on the right hand side, with this 2000 volt process, you can see that in the side frequency process, the moving of the electrode is getting giving us a better temperature control. So basically, in this case, we can better control the temperature. And of course, if we show that the temperature movement inside the product 
personel ortaya sunarıyor. Ve siz bana e, indirimde şu bana research group gibi bakmışsınız. Rotation like this. Şimdi bu kadar tek potansiyel bir problem in the in the industrial process system. And it was a, that study was a totally uh, experimental case and we wanted to simulate this one to better see what's going to happen in the product case. And this process, for example, the, while we are rotating the product inside the cavity, we don't give a better process than the newborn. But all these are different approaches or different cases for a, uh, to try. And of course, for an industrial scale trial or to uh, Manufacturing the cross patterns, we have the mathematical modeling approaches. So, this is another example. Now, this time I'm talking about the microwave tunnel toy, where we are, this, this simulation we have used a 950 megahertz microphone. Now, you can see that while move, the product is moving inside the system, you can see the interaction of the micro uh, electromagnetic phase with the product and also between themselves. So, the question here is where we should locate the microphones in these tunnels, how fast the product must go, and whether the, the, the distance between the microphones are affecting the electromagnetic distribution or not. All these questions must be answered to introduce a better innovative food process compared to the conventional process. And the answer to all these, of course, the approaches of mathematical modeling and mathematical modeling based optimization. And this is uh, one of my last examples. As I said, that in the assembly processing, we were talking about the continuous flow microwave processes are being introduced into the assembly processing. This is a roughly industrial scale 950 megahertz uh, microwave system where inside the cavity in the middle there is a pipe the, the, the liquid might be pumping pumped through, and outside the, the liquid might be directly fed into the cooling section or holding section and then being filled into the sterilized package. So here, the major problem is, even in the liquid, you can see that on the outside or outlet of the microwave cavity, we have a temperature distribution from 60 to 65 degrees. And this was a, basically, a, a, basically a liquid with a little bit high viscosity. So the temperature difference 5 degrees, and we have to decide whether this 5 degrees is a significant case or not. Considering the food safety issues, for example, if this liquid that uh, liquid air, then we have a certain we might have a certain safety issue with the salmonella and hepatitis because of this temperature distribution. So that's the reason in our um, recent uh, publication we demonstrated the effect of rotation or the applied rotation to the itself inside the microwave. So it's a basically a multiplicity problem where the transfer, formation transfer into the electromagnetic uh, wave introduction was there, and in addition we have rotating the pipe for example at 8, 8 RPM, and the temperature distribution you saw now was reduced to less than 1.4 degrees C, but on the cost of reducing the temperature. So what we can do now is we have to increase the uh, the power applied to this microwave system to increase the temperature to the closer range of 65 for it to get a better process or a better uh, pasteurization case. But that, that is one of the features of the significance of mathematical modeling applied to innovative processes for a better process design. So here we are demonstrating what we are showing in that if they apply a certain rotation rate inside the for uh, inside the pipe, for example, for acetic processing, we will have a better temperature in one day inside the product. So based on all these examples, I have to mention that first of all, design, optimization, and modeling are the significant issues to hold a process as innovative process. Otherwise, we will have a certain problems with the temperature. And for all these cases, we need the thermal properties of the product, mostly see this uh, as a function of temperature. We need the heat transfer correlation for especially the conventional cases. We first start the required product, and for the if we talk about innovative processes now, we also need to know the electric properties as a function of temperature, as a function of composition of the product, and also as a function of the frequency. So it will change from 915 to 2450 or from microwave to other frequency energy. 
सो जितनी आपको ऑप्शन दे है जो मैथमेटिक्स और मोर एक्सपेरिमेंटल वैलिडेटर के यू यू कैन वर्क फॉर डिजाइन ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन केसेस फॉर अ बेटर कंपैरेटिव प्रोसेस फाउंडेशन सो ग्रेडिएंट प्रोसेस आउटकम्स एंड आल्सो फॉर सेफ्टी एंड इंप्रूव क्वालिटी एक्टिविटीज सो हाउ डू फॉर सो अगेन मैथमेटिक्स मॉडलिंग अप्रोच रिलाइंग ऑन अप्लाइड मैथ एंड ऑफ कोर्स अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपटीशन पावर आई हैव टू हियर गिव एन एग्जांपल right now we have a collaborative uh, study with uh, notima here uh, young man in school field and also with us and our this uh, simulation for the five minutes of the process in a shaking uh, retort to more than one year in the very powerful uh, computer so available of the physical properties available of the computational power and whatever is in the process in addition to the food product and the, and the, uh, the system itself are in five phases for design and optimization. So this is a roughly sketch of uh, what we need for mathematical modeling case. First, we have defined the physical background of the process with five following equations and initial and boundary conditions. Then geometrical features and mathematical properties are the inputs. So we can get the, the solution using like the numerical approaches or CFT approaches and we have the solution we have to validate it with some help and preferably by the experimental validation then we can use this case for process design and optimization purposes now i would like to thank you for your attention and for your listening and uh, as you can see the we call the the, the lower picture as the smiling face of mathematical modeling and the eyes are coming from the eye process and i would like to also give a uh, a uh, list of our collaborations in the world right now uh, including the Tegu Lover here and Nokima and also all the other um, these are universities and then these are our university collaborations thank you and hopefully I will give this presentation by video and you can ask me questions